Kylie Jenner's new swimwear line is getting a ton of backlash from her own fans right now with many taking to TikTok to complain about getting scammed. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know right here on IO. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Recently, the 24-year-old billionaire business mogul Kylie Jenner released her new line of swimwear and was quick to promote it on her social media, resulting in many styles already selling out. Unfortunately, a lot of people are having buyer's remorse right now after receiving their orders. So far, TikTok specifically has been flooded with videos of people giving Kylie Swimmer a bad review. Many are upset over the poor quality of the pieces and even are describing them as so thin that you can practically see through it. One reviewer said that she shelled out $250 on two sarongs, a pink two-piece, and a yellow cut of monokini, but then said, I would show you these, but I literally can't because they are just not it. A lot of people took this opportunity, though, to promote brands that are much more reliable, brands that don't sell you paper-thin material, brands like Target, for example. Going back to the two sarongs, though, for a moment, they were described as being too long, shapeless, and having far too much material. It basically looked like an oversized scarf. According to this TikTok user, the quality of the one piece was equally awful, if not more. She says in the video, don't even get me started on the quality of this one piece. <laughs> and at the end of her review, she ended up giving Kylie Jenner's swimwear line a two out of 10, specifically noting that the sizing was just not good, but on the bright side, she did like the adjustable bottoms. Many other people on TikTok reviewing this new swimwear line had similar experiences, with others expressing disappointment in the sheer material and the overall sloppy sewing. One woman said in her review, you need to be waxed, lasered, and if you have any hair down there, it's gonna show. I feel like this is the sort of thing that begins to happen to anyone that tries to do too many things at once. It's not like Kylie is on the ground floor of the factory checking every pair to make sure that it's top quality. She most likely just has a team of people that handle that for her. Although I do appreciate apps like TikTok for being able to warn other people who would be interested in getting the product, but they want that honest review before they just jump into it. Either way, we would love to hear what you think down in those comments below. For now, I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try it.